Beyond the known sky for as long as civilization has existed, humanity has searched the heavens for meaning. We built myths from stars, equations from motion, and entire worldviews from points of light scattered across the night sky. Generation after generation believed that with enough mathematics, enough telescopes, and enough time, the universe would eventually surrender its secrets. But today, that confidence is beginning to fracture. Because what modern astronomy is now revealing does not simply add details to our understanding of the cosmos, it challenges its foundation. The James Webb Space Telescope was designed to look back in time, to capture the earliest light after the universe's birth. What it found instead has unsettled physicists, cosmologists, and astronomers alike. Objects that appear too old. Systems that seem too organized. Structures that feel, deliberate. This is not just discovery. This is confrontation. A confrontation between what our theories predict and what the universe is actually showing us. A universe that refuses to behave. When James Webb released its first deep field images, the world was stunned by their beauty. Galaxies stacked upon galaxies, light stretched across billions of years, a universe richer and more complex than ever imagined. But behind that beauty lay something unexpected. In several distant galaxy clusters, astronomers noticed repeating alignments. Points of light arranged with symmetry rarely seen in natural cosmic evolution. Not chaos. Not randomness. Patterns. In spiral systems, motions were detected that did not align with known gravitational models. Stars appeared to move as if influenced by forces that were too concentrated, too localized, behaving unlike the diffuse halos of dark matter we expect. At first, these irregularities were dismissed as statistical noise. But then they appeared again. And again. Across different regions of space. Across immense distances. Across independent observations. The farther Webb looked, the less random the universe seemed. Planets that should not exist. Among Webb's targets was an enormous exoplanet orbiting a very young star, far too young for such a world to have formed. This planet is massive, many times larger than Jupiter, glowing intensely with residual heat. It orbits far from its star, where material should be scarce and formation painfully slow. There is no visible debris disk. No leftover gas cloud. No conventional explanation. According to current planetary science, this world should not exist. And yet, there it is. Some researchers now quietly ask an unsettling question. What if certain objects in the universe did not form where we find them? What if some worlds are older than their surroundings, or survivors of earlier cosmic eras? No conclusions. No confirmations. Only silence, and a planet that defies time. Perfect geometry in a broken cosmos, then came the lenses. Gravitational lensing is a known effect, mass-bending light like glass. But one particular structure stunned astronomers, an almost perfectly circular Einstein ring, formed by the alignment of distant galaxies separated by billions of light years. For such symmetry to occur, the alignment must be exact, down to impossibly small margins. Not just rare. Statistically astonishing. It raises a troubling thought. Is space-time itself more ordered than we assumed? Could the universe contain embedded symmetries that persist across cosmic scales, hidden beneath apparent disorder? If so, then chaos may only be a surface illusion. A cosmic framework. Perhaps the most controversial observation involves enormous intergalactic filaments, vast chains of galaxies forming the cosmic web. These structures are known. But one filament observed by Webb stretches over a billion light years with a repeating regularity that feels almost architectural. Galaxies spaced at near equal intervals. 
dark matter clumps repeating rhythmically, redshift data fluctuating in wave-like patterns. This does not resemble organic growth alone. It resembles structure. Some scientists caution against overinterpretation, warning that the human brain is wired to see meaning where none exists. Others are less certain. Because if intelligence ever shaped the universe, even indirectly, this is what its traces might look like. Does the universe remember? What if the universe is not just expanding, but remembering? For decades, dark matter has been treated as a silent participant in cosmic evolution. Invisible. Passive. A background substance whose only role is gravity. It bends light, shapes galaxies, and holds the cosmic web together, but nothing more. Now, a growing and controversial hypothesis is beginning to take shape. What if dark matter is not entirely inert? What if it carries information, not information like numbers or language, but something more fundamental? A gravitational memory. A record etched not in symbols, but in structure. A way for the universe to preserve its past. In recent data from the James Webb Space Telescope, astronomers have noticed something deeply unsettling. Certain galaxy clusters appear to resemble others found billions of light years away. Not vaguely. Not statistically. But structurally. Patterns repeat. Alignments echo. Spatial arrangements mirror one another across immense distances and times. It is as if the universe is reusing blueprints. If these observations hold, they suggest something extraordinary, that earlier cosmic structures may leave imprints that influence future formations. That the universe does not simply move forward blindly, but builds upon what came before. A universe that does not merely expand, but remembers. A universe layered with its own history. The signal no one can explain then there is the observation few are willing to discuss openly. During a deep field scan aimed at an apparent void, a region thought to contain almost nothing, the James Webb Space Telescope detected a series of faint light pulses. At first glance, they seemed insignificant. But their behavior raised immediate concern. They were too regular to be random. Too precise to be natural. Too faint to match any known stellar object. They did not behave like pulsars. They did not match quasars. They did not align with any cataloged astrophysical phenomenon. The pulses repeated at exact intervals. Then stopped. Then resumed. Not noise. Timing. The origin point revealed no stars. No nebula. No heat signature. No visible mass concentration. Just darkness. In rhythm. Scientists suspected error. Instrumental reflection. Data corruption. Processing artifacts. Every possibility was tested. The data was checked. Rechecked. Run through independent systems. The pattern remained. NASA has made no public announcement. But behind closed doors, an unsettling question continues to circulate. What if the signal was not meant to communicate? What if it was not a message at all? What if it was simply meant to be noticed? A marker. A confirmation. A signal that says, you're looking in the right direction. A different role for humanity. The James Webb Space Telescope was built to study beginnings, to peer backward through time and reveal how the first stars and galaxies formed. Instead, it may have uncovered something far more profound. That humanity is not merely observing the universe. We are participating in it. We exist within a system far older, far more structured, and far more deliberate than we ever imagined. Galaxies that appear too mature for their age. Planets that defy every known formation model. 
cosmic structures that suggest order where randomness was expected. Signals with no identifiable source. These are not metaphors. They are not philosophical abstractions. They are measurements. They are data. They are real. And if they point toward intention, or memory, or intelligence, then we must confront the most unsettling possibility of all. That humanity has never been alone. Not in space. Not in time. Not even in thought. Perhaps intelligence is not an accident of the universe. Perhaps it is a consequence of it. Perhaps the universe itself is not empty, but waiting. Waiting for observers capable of recognizing the pattern. Waiting for minds advanced enough to notice that something is wrong, or right. The question remains, so now we are left with the question that science alone cannot yet answer. Are these discoveries evidence of something greater? Or are they reflections of our own desire to find meaning in the darkness? Are we uncovering hidden structure, or projecting it? The universe has not answered us. Not clearly. Not yet. But it is speaking. Through patterns. Through anomalies. Through signals that refuse to disappear. And for the first time in human history, we may finally be listening. Tell us what you believe. Because the next image from the James Webb Space Telescope may not tell us where we came from, but why we were meant to look at all. We'll see you beyond the veil.